In a few of my tutorial videos, I've gotten questions about how I zoom into parts of the footage so smoothly. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll show an example right here. Now there are ways that you can do this with plugins, which I'll address at the end of this video, but there's a simple way that you can do this right within DaVinci Resolve. So let me quickly show you that technique. So in this example, I have some footage on the timeline and what I'm going to do is find part of the footage where I want to zoom in. From that point, what I'm going to do is hit shift and then the right arrow. And what this will do is move the playhead forward one second. Before you jump ahead that one second, however, you wanna set a keyframe on that zoom setting. Then as mentioned, you hit shift and right arrow, it moves you ahead one second. And then all you have to do from there is adjust your zoom setting so that you can zoom in and it will set a second keyframe for you. A quick way that we can specify which part of the footage that we want to zoom in is by clicking on the transform option right underneath our viewer. And then in the middle of the viewer, you have a small dot with a line coming out of it. If we move that around, that's our anchor point. You'll notice how the footage moves around and then now we can specify which part of that footage should be the focal point. And we have to do somewhat of the reverse on the part of the footage where we wanna zoom back out again. So once we find that part of the footage, we can set another keyframe without making any adjustments, of course, and then shift right arrow. And here we're manually going to change the setting back to what it was. So in this case, we'll set the zoom back to one. Once again, that will set a keyframe for us. And in the bottom right hand corner of our video in the timeline, you'll see a graph icon. If you click on that, now you'll notice all the keyframes that we created. What we can do now is left click and drag select all of our keyframes within the timeline. And if we click on the icon second from the left in the middle of that window, you'll notice now the transition between those keyframes is a lot smoother. One final tip that I'll give you is that you can do all of this on an adjustment clip. And this is great in case you have multiple clips on the timeline stacked on top of one another. So instead of creating a compound clip, you can just add this on top and it will serve the same purpose. Now, if you didn't want to go through all the trouble of creating this on your own, you could always download the Motion VFX pack from MKBHD. I'll link to that in the description below. I hope this helped. This video came from a comment that I received. So if you have any questions about something, feel free to leave a comment and it may become my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.